Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I will be discussing how to design and make your own soaking bathtub economically. At the end of this video, I will display many pictures of wonderful homemade tubs so that your creative juices can flow. For personal cleaning purposes, most people enjoy and use a shower as part of their daily routine hygiene practices. It's quick and does the job, but sometimes you need the muscle relaxation and healing powers of a good hot tub soak, especially if you've been doing some hard physical manual labor. A hot tub soak with Epsom salts and a few drops of essential oils can be one of the most healing of activities you can do for yourself. So, as far as I'm concerned, a good soaking tub is essential. First off, I don't know about you, but there is nothing quite so frustrating as to live in a space that has one of these standard apartment types of tub and shower enclosures. The tub in these situations is, is usually extremely narrow and will hold about four inches of water. I ask you seriously, who can soak their body in such a thing? That might just as well have not bothered. Or else, you live in a situation where someone has installed a huge jacuzzi type of tub that's reminiscent of a small swimming pool. In these situations, the hot water tank of the house is incapable of producing enough hot water for you to have a good tub soak. And even if it did, what a waste of hot water, as most of it's not used. To me, the ideal arrangement is to have a soaking tub that is deep enough so that you can submerge your entire body in the water, but not so big that you're wasting tons of water. Now, you can buy these wonderful soaking tubs. They do exist, but they cost thousands of dollars. Unless you're a multimillionaire, you can't afford these. So, what's the solution to this dilemma? You design and make one for yourself. The first thing you need to ascertain before you begin this type of a project is the size of the area you have set aside for the tub. Next, make certain the area that you have set aside is strong enough to hold the weight of you, the hot water in the tub, and the tub itself. Water is heavy, so make sure you have the structural support necessary here. Now, if you are in a situation where you think you will be moving, there are portable soaking tub designs that can move with you, so you aren't stuck no matter what your situation. There are many different materials that you can use to make yourself a good soaking tub and I'm going to go into some detail about this now. The classic uh, make-it-yourself tub material is wood. Next would be a tile works type of design. You can get very creative here the next is the baby swimming pool <laughs> materials design. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. One design idea I had was to build a soaking tub on top of the mass portion of a rocket mass heating system. This would be a wonderful and warm arrangement. Please refer to my video on the magic of Cobb to see some pictures of rocket mass heating systems so that you can get a good idea of this concept for yourself. Remember as well that you can buy bathtub refinishing kits. These kits supply the enamel paint product for the tub. With this product you can create a wonderful, beautiful and easy to clean tub for yourself. Now let's start with the basic design concepts. Everyone likes the idea of being able to lie down in a soaking tub, and this is really nice. But if your space is limited, or if you want a portable soaking tub, then you need to think of a design idea that you step down into and sit. These design ideas can be as small as three feet square, 
and just make it as high as you need it in order for your body to be completely covered with the water right up to your neck. If you take into account the water that it's displaced from your body, this type of a soaking tub uses very little hot water. And when all is said and done, is an excellent design idea. This is the Japanese soaking tub concept. There are many different YouTube videos on the construction of this type of a soaking tub using plywood. It isn't difficult and does not cost an arm and a leg. This type of a soaking tub could be used in an area uh, that you will an already existing large shower stall, if you have one. It could then be filled with already existing plumbing and could drain right into the floor of the already existing shower stall. Very economical. You can also design yourself a nice wood tub that follows the more conventional tub lines where you lie down and soak. These tubs would use considerably more water, so this would have to be taken into consideration. But you can design some pretty incredible tubs using wood. The next design material to use is tile works. The base of this design could be a wood system that was finished with tile work. Or you could make the base tub portion out of cement or cement board. In this system, you'd have to really make sure of the structural support for your design as these materials are very heavy. The main design themes for this type of a tub would be similar to old Roman baths. Very square but very beautiful and your creativity could really flow. Because of the tile work, these tub designs could get very pricey. So factor this into your ideas on this. You could also make yourself a, a form out of sand and then use fiberglass to create a waterproof foundation. But this is also getting a bit pricey. I have seen wonderful tubs that were made out of the same material that, that a built-in swimming pool would use. In one instance, the owner inserted polished crystals to create a wonderful mosaic design on the floor of the soaking tub. The bottom line with all of this is that you can have a wonderful soaking tub that you can creatively design yourself that won't break your budget. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!